Okay, today we're gonna to go through a really short video on how to service the brakes on a Jeep Wrangler. This particular uh, year model is 2008, but many are the same. Uh, we're going to change the rear pads in this video. So it's gonna take, shouldn't take any more than those tools you see right there in a couple of pads. So put your uh, jack underneath the rear axle tube and put a little bit of pressure where you start seeing the wheel kind of start to move there. Once you got that done, just hold what you got. Okay, so once you get that done, we're going to break loose the lug nuts on the wheel. Okay, now that we got the lug nuts broke loose, we'll just go ahead and jack the tire up off the ground. Okay, once you get it up, just remove the nuts. The lug nuts on off all the rest of the way. I just, I just use this because it's a little bit quicker. Set those aside. Okay, so now we're looking at our caliper bracket and our brake pads are in here. And this is what a brake pad looked like on the other side of the Jeep. These brakes have, these are the stock brakes. They have about 46,000 miles on them. That's, a pull on, that's also miles pulling on a trailer a whole lot. A uh, landscaping trailer and also an off-road trailer. And there's what a new pad, the difference in a new pad looks like. These are just Duralast Golds picked up at AutoZone. And uh, I've read some good reviews on them. You know, they're not the, supposedly the best out there, but you know, they're better than stock. All right, and we're going to remove this uh, bolt right here and the corresponding bolt right there and that will allow the caliper to pull off of the rotor I'm just using an 18 millimeter socket they're kind of tight so it's good if you have a little cheater pipe break them loose there the first time and then they're fairly easy to to get out after that and then you'll come from the bottom on this one are set those aside and we'll remove our kind of squeezed on the caliper there I mean on the rotor and notice the orientation of the pads well, we've got this curvature facing out on both sides and we have the indicator right there so they're gonna want to fall out and sometimes this little piece of hardware here is going to want to come out with it. You want to save that if you're not replacing it. They recommend to replace the hardware when you replace the pads. And then remove this one. All right, whenever you take your pads off and your, your caliper off, you want to inspect your rotor for any kind of serious wear. You can see in mine I've got this groove. And I know when that groove happened. It was on the way back home from my last trip along the Continental Divide. My brakes started squeaking and it was just a lot of high temp braking and it scarred my rotor. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this rotor off, which is it easy, it just pops right off, into a, sh a brake shop and they will actually turn this down because it's, it's only got about 45,000 miles on it. 
they can turn this and kind of make it uh, to where there's no more grooves on here. They'll just make it all smooth again. But for the purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and finish installing the brakes. Whenever you pull your caliper off, this piston is what actuates the, the pads and makes them squeeze against the rotor. Well, it's gonna be extended way out where you can't get your pads back in here and then still have room to get the uh, rotor in between the pads. So you, uh, you, wanna, you wanna use something like a C-clamp. What I've got is just a carpenter's clamp, which will work as well. And if you have enough hands, you want to put the clamp in such a way that it's uh, against the piston and some point on the back of the caliper where you can screw it together tight. And then you just want to bring that together screw this like you would a clamp any other clamp and depress that piston all right so now we've got a big gap in between here where our uh, brake pads can fit all right Notice that rounded edge. The little wings here, tabs on the brake pads, will fit in these grooves where your little clips are. You find the curved part portion, and we're gonna face it out. And squeeze that in place. Okay, once we get the brake pads in place, we wanna just simply slide it back over the rotor lining up the bolt holes in the back careful not to cross thread anything kind of helps if you wiggle it while you're uh, starting your bolts the bottom one can be a little bit tricky sometimes Once we get those fairly close to hand tight, we want to get our ratchet with us again with an 18 millimeter socket and just cinch it down. Once I get mine tight, I get my cheater pipe again and just kind of. There's a torque spec out there, and I'm sure someone will want to say you didn't torque this, but I believe I'll be okay. And that's it. That's all there is to replacing your, your brake pads on the rear end of a Jeep Wrangler JK. And then there's a close-up there of that that groove I was telling you about right there we'll have to get that fixed some will take the opportunity to go to a big brake kit for a JK at this point in time replace the rotors and pads but I don't have any stopping problems that people talk about with a Jeep Wrangler and mine's lifted I've run 35 inch tires it's very heavy with the all the overland equipment that I've got added all you have to do now is put your wheel back on there and uh, kind of hand tight your lug nuts once you get the wheel up, set it back down on the ground and bring it up to torque spec. It's that simple. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to help out any way I can. Thanks.